she want to cry about a nigga that I'm not even fucking on letter. Letter, because I'm not, I don't got the time nor energy. Oh, Welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's me, Ren Lux, back with another video. And subscribe for more, period. So, this is going to be another story time. And this story time is stupid recent. Yeah, it just happened a few weeks ago. And I don't even know if the beef is still squashed. It's still fucked them, them hoes the long way. So, today's story time is going to be about the time I almost got in a fight with a bitch because she thought I liked her crush. It's the fact that this was this bitch's crush. This wasn't even her boyfriend. This bitch was willing to fight over her crush. This hoe was a real rough rider, bitch. That's her. That's Renanda. That's her. Bitch, I, I, I don't even fight over my boyfriend, let alone a crush. <laughs> so, I'm going to give you guys the background story on how I met this girl, how I know her, what the whoop the whoop. All my stories connect. If you guys don't watch my story times in freaking order, you guys should because, like, all my story times connect. Um, you guys haven't met this girl yet because I haven't made a story time by her, but here's her story time. So, if you guys watch my Losing Virginity story time, I mentioned a house. And I kept, and my last story time I did, I mentioned the house. And I always mentioned this house as the spot, the place to kick it, everybody be at. But I never really introduced you guys to the owners of the house. So, the people that owned this house were two white girls um we gonna name the sister rudolph and we gonna name the bitch i was beeping with red face because all the time she smiled her face turned red like red face that was the owners of the house and obviously i knew them or had to be a little bit cool with them to be coming in a shit me and them weren't as close like rudolph i was trying to get close with her i was trying to but we didn't click her sister i was cordial with her i don't know her for real all the time i came over there she was either at work or doing some other shit so so it was just one weekend i was chilling with my friends and um we gonna name we gonna name them i'm gonna just use the beginning of the, the letter of their names because it's too much going on in my head and like i just can't do that um c c and c all right because they all all their names starts with a c so c c and c oh it's too many c's so i'm gonna say c1 c2 and c3 so C1 wanted me to go to his football game and stuff like that. So I'm like, okay, cool. We're going to go see his football game. So I was like, okay. So I tell my friend, my best friend, Elon, do you want to come to the football game with me or whatever? So I tell my best friend, you trying to come to C1's game. And after that, we finna chill, smoke, probably get some food and like head back to the crib and go home. You know, see? I was like, yeah, let's get ready for his game. So it's time for his game. You know, we supporting our friend, go friend go friend and the game ends and c2 and c3 we get in a car with them so it's just me c2 c1 and some other nigga in the back we like some so what y'all want to do like what y'all trying to do first we end up smoking and c2 was like bro what the fuck like where we going i can't just be driving in circles and the nigga in the back already had a plan he was gonna go chill with his bitch which is a which was another girl who lived in the house C2 was like, we finna go back to the spot. J the spot. Y'all know who what the spot is. Remember I told y'all where I met Eric at? That's the spot. Like, this is, you know what I'm saying? If y'all haven't watched them story times, link in the description. But if you guys want to know a little bit more about the spot and stuff, I call it the spot because everybody be there. But y'all can watch those story times. That's where I met the other fuck bitch at. Not fuck nigga because he's not a nigga. He's a bitch. C2 turns to me and Elon and he's like, are y'all cool with um Rudolph? And I'm like, yeah, we cool with her. We haven't talked to her in such a long time, but we are cool with her. And he's like, okay, cool. So I'm going to call her up and I'm going to ask if we can all come over. And I'm not thinking it's a problem because Rudolph just invited me over um last weekend so i'm i'm thinking we all cool and so i thought so she's like um yeah who's all with you and he's like oh you know lauren elon c3 other niggas in the back like you know what i'm saying she's like oh yeah y'all can come i'm sick right now so don't come downstairs but y'all can all just hang upstairs in the living room we pull up to her house you know we just walk in i felt the the energy in the house was very off it was so weird like i felt that my presence was not wanted there like i felt that them bitches did not fuck with me even though it was so weird because i could have sworn that they did 
but you know we like whatever we just gonna leave and Elon had to get back home anyway so we had to drop Elon off at home did we drop her off home yeah we had to drop Elon off back at home anyway and I was like well since Elon not staying at Rudolph house no more I want to go home too and she too is like no don't go home bruh like stay with us or whatever and the reason my big thing on why I wanted to go home was because I just felt like they didn't like me I'm not gonna stay nowhere that if my presence isn't wanted fuck I'm gonna stay in your face for like I'm not gonna do that like and I was like some um so and so I feel like she don't like me I don't know what her problem was but I'm just not gonna stay in nobody's house if you don't like me cool if you're not gonna speak up and tell me you don't like me in your own house bitch I'm gonna just do the favor and do it for you I'm gonna just leave for you because I don't got time for the conflict and shit and he was like, no, I'm going to call her. I'm going to see if she has a problem with you. Like, I'm going to see. And I'm like, okay. So he called a girl that I thought had a problem with me. She didn't. She had a problem with my best friend over some petty shit. Like, just petty. And I'm like, and he was like, no. And she was like, but Lauren can come over. He was like, okay, whatever, whatever. So we get back to her house and basically C2 and C3, they had couches and them niggas is long as fuck. Like, them niggas are tall. So, of course, they can't scrouch up like how a girl can on a couch and be perfectly fine so c2 and c3 was like i'm about to go make a big ass bed so everyone can sleep on it and um you know i wasn't really listening or whatever but basically they brought mattresses out there is like a big ass bed like that's what they made for real everybody sat on it c3 c3 and his girl and c2 so the night continues and I'm falling asleep on the couch. And C2's like, Lauren, what you want that couch for? And I'm like, there's no room for me down there. Even though the bed was big, I just, I don't know. I just feel like there was no room down there. And he was like, oh, no, you can come over here. I'm going to just have C3 and them scoot, scoot down. But there's enough room for you because I know you're not comfortable on that couch. And I was like, "Some okay, whatever, I'll come there. So they scooch over, whatever, whatever. And I'm sleeping. Well, I'm not really sleeping. I'm just like resting my eyes or whatever. So I'm right here. C2's right here. C3's right here. And his girlfriend's right here. You see what I'm saying? But it wasn't like I was right there and me and C2 was cuddling because, bitch, that's what the fuck. So I hear a loud bang on the door. And I'm like, who the fuck? Y'all, I'm high as fuck, by the way. So I'm thinking, I'm looking. I'm like, is that the police? Like, what the fuck? Like, you see what I'm saying? So it took me a good few minutes to open the door because I'm over here looking at the door like, is this the police at the door? It ended up being red face. She was mad as fuck for whatever the motherfuck reason. So I'm like, oh, I'm not thinking anything of it. Because she's like, I'm so irritated right now. And she just walks past me. And I'm just like, okay. I continue to stay on the phone with my best friend. And I'm getting a little tired now. So I'm laying back on the big mattress that C2 and C3 had made. Red face. Bitch, we all time to go to sleep. Bitch, I'm, my eyes is going down. Like, bitch, we all finna hit the hay and go to next bitch red face took it upon herself to turn on the light and c2's like did this bitch really just do that everybody's trying to sleep like what the fuck is wrong with her like she's weird as fuck and i'm just like girl i don't even care like whatever it gets really quiet and all you hear is whispering from the room in the back because we are in the living room and all three girls that own the house or whatever is in the back all you hear is who the fuck is that bitch um C2 always bringing bitches in here to fuck on. Um, what the fuck? Like, that bitch just got the nerve to come here and lay her head in my motherfucking house. Talking outside of her neck. Eck. Eck. And I'm like, listen, y'all. I'm like, there's two ways to handle this situation. Go in there. Cuss everybody out that's talking shit about me. Or sit here and keep listening to the conversation. You gotta think about it, this isn't your house. Technically, and these are white motherfuckers, not trying to be racist, but I'm a black girl and it's a white girl's word against a black girl's world. word. If they was to call the police on me, I would get sent to jail just because I'm in their house and they would say trespassing. You see what I'm saying? Like, you can't come in here just because someone's talking shit about you, you can't come and just knock them on the side of their head just because they're talking shit about you. You gotta realize where you at. I'm not stupid. So, you know, I'm just listening to the conversation. I'm just like, okay. So, C2 gets up. He's like, what the fuck? He's like, she thinks we're having sex? Like, what the fuck? Like, she thinks we're fucking? Like, what? So, he gets up and he goes in the bathroom with them. And he's like, I'm not having sex with her. 
uh um what the fuck like he just mad as fuck and i'm just listening i'm not even mad it's just like i just feel weird like you know when you feel weird energy and weird vibes so you just kind of like well this is awkward like bitch. <laughs> and i also was confused because red face was acting like she didn't know me and she knew me actually very well considering the whole house was obsessed with my youtube videos and they always went back to watch them red face knew me because i always came around especially when her brother was living there like they knew me the fuck i don't know because i'm a black girl oh sorry i'm using my hands i'm getting mad i don't know because i'm a black girl every few weeks i get a new hairstyle and you just can't recognize me in this hairstyle or you're fucking delusional and you acting like you don't know who i am i don't know which one it is but get it right get it tight please because bitch you're being fucking weird so i'm like does she not know it's me like does she not know it's me i immediately get up because i'm like i'm not gonna lay my head in no motherfucking house where there's three bitches plotting on me right now they mad as fuck another thing if this is your house you need to let you you need to let me know how you feel. The fuck, do not have nobody come in your house. Oh, I'm sorry, my hands, sorry. Do not have nobody come in your house and run you over. If you feel like you don't know who the fuck I am, you need to come in here and introduce yourself or have me introduce myself. This is your house, bitch. If someone's in your house that you do not want in your house, you have every right to kick them out because it's your house. The fact that she was talking shit in the back, bitch, talk shit in the front. You can do whatever the fuck you want in your house. The fuck? C3's girlfriend, she tries to go in there and she tries to make it better. And she's like, they're not having sex. The bed was made for me and C and C3. It wasn't made for C2 and Lauren. You see what I'm saying? Red face wasn't trying to hear it. She just had it stuck in her mind that I that C2 and I were having sex that moment on that bed. And it's like, first of all, bitch, um, I don't know how y'all do it, where y'all from, but bitch, um, who the fuck has sex in an open area like that with people around in the fucking living room that's not even they house on a fake ass bed? Like, come on, like, why would I have sex? And then there's a people right next to me too. Why would I even do that? Like, why would I even come out? You're fucking stupid. Whatever. So, you know, I just gather my, and C, so C2 comes back out or whatever. And C2's like, she's weird or whatever. C3's girlfriend comes back out the room. She's like, she's not hearing it. Like, she's just so stuck on the fact that she thinks you guys are having sex. So I'm like, oh, fuck. Now the bitch thinks I'm having sex. And the reason why she was so mad, because her and C2 was having sex together. They were doing that together. So she just felt like, why are you bringing a girl into the house, having sex with her? into my house in the same house you have sex with me in. and and get this if it really was that situation i was a random girl and me and c2 was having sex you have every right to be mad you have every right to talk shit you see what i'm saying but considering that wasn't the situation and we literally wasn't and we never even looked at each other in that way before you just made a whole scene for what you see what I'm saying? But it was a whole lot of confusion and a whole lot of unsaid stuff. And I felt like if she would have came in the living room and talked to me, first of all, to see that she knows me, that I'm not a stranger, first of all. She and talked to me because at the time I had a boyfriend too on top of that. So, fuck. Whatever, whatever, whatever. I'm like, I'm going to just go ahead and go home. Y'all got that. She want to cry about a nigga that I'm not even fucking on letter letter because i'm not i don't got the time nor energy type shit so i go home whatever Next i go day, home type and job. my best friend posts on her spam account because there was a little drama situation going on with the third girl who lived in the household and my best friend and she posted on her spam account i put this screenshot somewhere because i really can't remember word by word but it was basically like some bitches weird and i was like yeah bitches are i was agreeing with her under the post and i was like bitches are weird because how the fuck Basically, the third girl who lived in the house basically showed Red Face what I said, and me and Red Face got in a whole little argument or whatever. And Red Face was basically like, "Yeah, ho, I want to fight you." Da 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 da. And I'm like, "Some, cause y'all, I know how to fight. I know how to lay my hands on a bitch real decent, but I'm not like that anymore. So if I'm gonna fight you, baby, we gotta fight over a good reason, cause I'm not about to fight you because you think I'm having sex." with a boy that I don't like. We're not gonna fight over a nigga. I'm, I'm, especially a nigga that's not mine, and especially a nigga that I don't like that I never ever even laid a kiss on. Like, she was just basically saying, I wanna fight or whatever. And I was like, why do you wanna fight? And she was like, I don't wanna fight you over a boy. I just wanna fight you for the simple fact you being bold. 
we got a whole little argument about that whole situation. And basically I was saying, all right, I'm not, I'm bitch. My mama ain't raised no hoe. She ain't raised no bitch or pussy, period, hoe. Um, if you really want to fight me that bad, I ain't never duck in action. But what I'm not going to do is pull up to your shit. If you're the one mad, because me, I wasn't mad. I was like, you're the one mad. So if you're that mad, you come to where I'm at. I'm not coming to the south side, to the east, to the west, to the north, to the coast, bitch. No, no, no. You want to fight me so bad? meet me somewhere i told her to meet me at a park or whatever because you we not gonna fight in my nice ass neighborhood no the fuck we won't yeah that's basically what happened we never ended up fighting i never ended up to lay my hands on a bitch like so we never ended up fighting because i did tell her text me when you ready to fight um what you would whatever she never ended up texting me we were both busy that day anyway but i just wanted to tell y'all this story time because i thought it was funny or whatever so that's it for this story time. Hope you guys enjoy. Comment, like, and subscribe for more videos like this.